Hello, everyone. Welcome to DBDJ's audio cast number 13. Once again, I am Eric Hinchman. Today's episode features a mix by Detroit's Greg Mudge. But first, once again, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this episode. And if you'd like to help support this podcast series and others that we have in the works, please visit audibletrial.com slash dbdjs and you'll get a free one-month trial. That's a free 30-day trial in your choice of a free audiobook from over 150,000 audiobooks to choose from. The idea is you'll browse through the catalog and in the back of your mind you're thinking I just want to find one free book to try this service but in reality you end up finding many, adding them to your list, checking them out and becoming a happy customer, remaining a happy customer and along the way knowing that you're helping to support shows like this so that's audibletrial.com slash dvdjs check it out and help support the show so the big news of the week and probably most of you actually from the detroit area I don't know, probably around the Midwest even. If you're a true fan, you're probably aware of the announcement of DEMF returning to the city of Detroit in 2014. And it appears to be headed by the same people who organized the original events over 10 years ago. And that is interesting, exciting news. We'll see what they end up putting together. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a worthwhile venture. And it appears that there seems to be some confusion online about what's really going on. And I don't understand why. Basically, uh, people appear to be confused or concerned about its effect on movement, or how should I say it? I think there are people who just simply maybe never understood that movement and DEMF were different, separate efforts. Maybe it's because both events take place, or had taken place in the past, on the same holiday weekend. And I'll be the first to admit, I don't know all the facts at this moment, but from what I gather, it's safe to say that movement is still happening and is still being organized by Paxahow. DEMF returns. It'll be at a different location, a different date, and it's being organized by the original DEMF crew. Simply put, two different events, two different organizers, two different dates, same city. Doesn't have to be much confusion. I will say that I tried emailing the people a day or two ago from the DEMF.us website and the email bounced so if you're listening or know people involved they might want to know that their email address doesn't work so like i said today's episode features a mix by greg mudge greg mudge is one of the latest additions to the roster known as the Detroit Bachelor DJs. And while I've known 
of Greg for a long time now, a good decade plus. I don't know Greg personally that well. And I haven't actually interacted with him very much, but I have heard his name, have, I have, I'm, I'm not saying I don't know him at all, I do, it's just, normally I would talk about some kind of personal interaction here, or some story, and I don't have much to say, other than uh, I have uh, seen his name around for years, and I've heard him play, and I like what I've heard. I did play with him a long time ago with a bunch of other guys for this outdoor event. It had something to do with some kind of urban development. Tali Marcus organized this event, and what I recall is at the time I smoked cigarettes and I ran out. And I left the event to grab another pack of cigarettes. And the event was in Detroit. So I hop in my car, get on the expressway, and I'm looking for the nearest gas station that I can buy a pack of cigarettes. And I don't see anything for a while. And next thing I know, the closest gas station around is one at the Holbrook and Kniff exit in Hamtramck. I get off there, get what I have to get. Next thing I know, I realize I'm halfway home. At this point, it was late, and I didn't feel like getting back in the car, turning around, driving back to the event, getting my stuff, getting back in my car, turning around and driving home, because it was probably almost over anyway. So I call, and I eventually get a hold of Greg. And he was kind enough to grab my record crate, take it home with him, and keep it safe for, I think it was a couple days, until I was able to uh, meet up with him again and get my gear back. So, other than that, I don't really have much interaction with Greg beyond, um, beyond that. I know that Greg has been in charge or responsible for organizing whatever takes place at Ferrand's downtown for the weekend of the Electronic Festival. And I know that he's been playing around f for a long time, and I've actually... Now that I think about it, I've heard him play records more than I've actually hung out and talked with him. So, that said, what's most important for me is just understanding or appreciating his ear. And I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to hear him perform alongside Andy Toth, that was about a year ago, and I really felt like I was able to get inside his head a little bit and uh, understand and appreciate where he's coming from. So let's do that right now. Here's a mix titled As They Are by Greg Mudge. You're listening, You're listening to the Detroit, Detroit Bachelor, Bachelor DJ's, DJ's podcast. podcast. Dance, 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 dance.
DetroitBachelorDJs.com
conflict far, far away. We have to play for music as meaning. And the meaning of the music is freedom. The freedom to move. The freedom to hear. The freedom to touch the sound.
Thank you for the mix, Greg. I also wanted to mention when Greg's not playing records, he's also the owner of Mudgy's Deli that's located downtown Detroit in Cork Town. I have not been there yet, but I look forward to getting down there. And it looks like a really interesting little deli. And it appears that I'm the only one missing out as it's won awards from the Metro Times to our magazine. Best Sandwich in Detroit, that's a pretty good award. Best Deli in Wayne County, that's something to be proud of. They also have a large craft beer menu. So yeah, if you're in Detroit and you're hungry support independent business 
and get down to Mudgy's Deli. I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsor, BetoShirts.com, Raw, and Unforgiving T-shirts, hoodies, and other big ideas by artists from the Metro Detroit area. Enter promo code DBDJs during checkout and receive free shipping when you order any two or more items. I'm also happy to announce that I just received the approval email from iTunes about our latest series, which is separate from this, entitled Step, based on the old night that we used to do, Detroit's first drum and bass and jungle weekly club night that we used to do at the Labyrinth downtown Detroit. The show is staying true to its original form and the intention is to explore broken beats in all variations. So the show will basically more obviously focus on genres like drum and bass, jungle, breaks, but you never know, we might even explore other genres. The first episode features a mix by myself, but we already have a really interesting lineup in the works. So if you're a fan of drum and bass, jungle, break beats, we might even get into a little dubstep or trap. The show has just started, so it'll be interesting to see the life that it takes on its own. Be sure to subscribe separately. It is its own show in its own channel on iTunes. So search for Step. Hit that subscribe button. Share it with as many people as you can on Twitter, Facebook, whatever social networks you choose to use. And I think that about does it for this week's episode. Be sure to hit us up on Facebook, like our page there, follow us on Twitter at dbdjsinfo. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you're interested in getting a hold of one of us, send us an email. The email is info at DetroitBachelorDJs.com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we'll see you next week. DetroitBachelorDJs.com.